Hey, you're here for the updated house tour? Come on in. Hey everyone, and for those of you who don't know me, I am Melissa and here we are at the Clean My Space HQ, my house. Now, the last time we did a house tour video, which is what we're gonna do today, by the way, it was about three years ago. And for those of you guys who have been around, you saw it and you will probably notice there are a lot of similarities, AKA things haven't changed much. But for those of you guys who haven't seen that video, our new fans and subscribers, why bother having to dig through the archives? Don't worry, we'll just make you a new video. And the other thing is, Chad and I are thinking about doing some reno-ish kind of stuff and some decor. So we wanna change things up. So consider this video like a tour, but also a bit of a before, because as we do these changes, we're thinking about doing videos and taking you guys along for the ride. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you a tour of what my house looks like on an average day where we are filming Clean My Space videos. All right, let's get to the tour. Okay, first things first, you guys might be wondering where in the world is the CMS HQ? So here we go. Chad and I live just outside of Toronto in a suburb and our house is a townhome and it is about 1800 square feet. So I hope that kind of helps paint the exterior picture for you. All right, so here we are, we are in my front hallway and you guys have seen this in some of our closet organizing videos and by the way there are tons of videos that we've shot obviously all over the house I will call out some cool ones and we'll link them for you down below we will probably end up reorganizing this closet again during spring cleaning because Honestly, when you're Canadian, you need a lot of warm things and you want new warm things. So we kind of have some old stuff that we need to get rid of and shoes. Chad and I are both like crazy about shoes. So we will probably have to go through and sort through some old stuff to make way for some newer, nicer, cleaner shoes. So uh, aside from that, in the front hall, it's really important that we contain all the mess here. So you'll notice we have some pretty big mats which are very important for the winter, as well as boot trays. And over here to my right, this is the door to our garage. So um, it's a pretty simple space. And here you go. That's what greets us every day when we walk in the house. About four paces in from the front hallway, we are standing smack dab in the middle of our living room, which is where we do a lot of living. And that consists of talking, having drinks after work, opening mail. Really, I mean, nothing else exciting happens in here. It's sort of a breezeway, if you will. It's kind of this weird room. Leads right into the dining room and the kitchen's right over there. So the way that we've set it up is we have a side table and a mirror and we always try to have some sort of interesting decorative chachka. Today we have a vase that looks like crumpled up paper, which is quite interesting. So that's there. We've always loved this cathedral style mirror and this table, these lamps, all of this stuff has been here for years. We, we need to do a little bit of updating, we know, we know. And uh, over here we have um, you know, this couch which we've talked about in the previous video, as well as these two chairs and we've kind of themed them up with red-ish stuff for the winter because it's a very warm, kind of cozy color. Now over here, this is a bull's head. It's made out of metal. But in the last home tour video we did, someone asked me if it was female reproductive organs. So I can assure you that it's not, it's, it's a bull's head. Now there's one very important piece of furniture in this house and that is this box. It's, um, it's a Nike shoe box and it is the war zone between Molly and Paisley, our two cats. They are territorial about this box. You can see there's bite marks. It's been here for about three and a half weeks and all they do is they sit here and they love just being sheltered by that part of the box. It's, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. They are obsessed with this box, so we're going with it. The box is here for now. We'll see how long this thing goes for. As you've probably figured out by now, today is a shoot day for us here at Clean My Space, which is why our dining room looks like a conference room. Um, every time we do a shoot day, we have a meeting here at the dining room table, which is why you can see all of our computers here, as well as Lindsay, who works with us. She pretty much is our right-hand woman. So if you ever feel like saying hello to Lindsay, feel free and say hello to her. Um, you can see behind me, we have a lot of different products and tools. This is stuff that gets sent to us all the time. We bring it up, we review it at meetings, and then it kind of goes back into its special location after we're finished meeting. So that way we're not eating Chad and I amongst 
cleaning products and tools all week, which is not as exciting as it probably sounds. By the way, if you guys ever want to send us anything, I will put our P.O. box down below for you in, uh, in the description box. So you can send us products or a hello or a birthday card, whatever you feel like. Nothing weird though. Anyway, over here is our chandelier and you can tell it's new from the one that we used to have, you know, when we did our old video. And the reason we love it is twofold. First of all, it's very modern and pretty. And second of all, very easy to change a light bulb. Our dining room has two entryways into the kitchen. This is the second one that you guys don't often see, but here we are. And over here you can see I have my little air plants displayed in these very cute little clay um, sea creatures. And these are very low maintenance plants, although just looking at them, I need to water them. And speaking of water, over here we have a little water fountain that uh, the cats love drinking water out of. And we often turn it off when we're shooting because if you listen closely, pretty much sounds like someone's peeing 24 seven. So we have to turn that off. Going through the kitchen here, I mean, we spend so much time in the kitchen doing our videos. So I think you guys are pretty familiar with this space. Um, you can see Chad and I definitely do like partaking in some libations. There's our cupboard um, with the associated glassware. A couple things I'll point out. This mug um, and saucer is actually a planter that we saw and we picked it up because we thought it was so fun. We have yet to put a plant in it because it's kind of a good little storage bowl. Right now we're using it to keep a copy of my book, but other times other things go in there. Um, and then over here we have this yellow pineapple, which I think is a little bit of a clean my space celebrity. A lot of people love this pineapple. Basically what happened was Chad and I were walking through one of those home decor stores here. Um, it's called Home Scent in the States. I think it's called Home Goods. But anyway, you know, you stumble across these random decor items. Anyway, we saw this pineapple it was 20 bucks. Boom, picked it up and then we you know, brought in a couple other yellow things to the kitchen to sort of spice up the decor. And then over here we have these very cool um, carpet tiles that are really convenient for the kitchen because if you spill something on them, you can literally peel them right up off the floor and throw them in the washing machine. So we love the convenience of that and it's also kind of fun that they're colorful. You can sort of mix and match and change it up as you like. So that's really cool. And then as you know, as we walk our way out here, we're back in the living room slash dining room again. So there you go guys, my kitchen. Okay, and about four steps down from the living room, we are right here in front of my powder room. And you know what's funny? The last time we did our home tour video, we got a lot of comments saying that we didn't show the bathrooms. And to me, like a bathroom is so unexciting, but apparently you guys want to see it. So here we are. Now I will tell you this, houses were not built to shoot YouTube videos in. And I have to tell you shooting anything in this bathroom, if you've ever seen us film in the purple bathroom, which is our powder room, it is virtually impossible. We've had like workplace injuries here. Like people have tripped down the stairs, kicked themselves on the lights. Not to mention the fact that the lighting in here is 1980s and just awful. So I look bad, the shot looks bad, but hey, we need a bathroom. So sometimes it just makes sense. Now, if you look in the bathroom, you'll see that we have this mirror on the wall and Chad and I replaced that mirror shortly after we moved in. But the painter who painted the house, he painted around the old mirror. So we kind of have this really ugly white strip. And we always look at it and think, oh yeah, yeah, you know, we'll get it, we'll get to it. It's on our kind of honey-do list, but we never actually get to it. I'd love to know in the comments down below, do you guys have any outstanding projects in your house that you kind of just see all the time and you walk past and you're like, yeah, 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 I'll get to it, but you never do. And then when you kind of look at it with fresh eyes, you're like, oh, that's so horrible. Anyway, that's the situation in there. Also, the lighting is super 80s in this bathroom, so we're also thinking about ways to upgrade the lighting. So, there's our powder room. If you ever come to the house, that is the bathroom that you would be invited to use. This is our upstairs family room. So we basically traveled up a flight of stairs, turned left, and here we are. The last time we were in this room, things looked a little bit different. I'll point out some of the changes. We have window coverings, which is exciting. We had pretty much zero privacy prior to that. And we also installed pot lights, but don't look now because we're actually changing them out to LED pot lights 
because that's more energy efficient and they don't beam heat down on you in the summertime, which is a big plus because you can literally, it feels like a schwitz in here. Anyway, we really want to change things up in this room. It, the decor is pretty subpar and we kind of want to get rid of, you know, our TV stand and we have sort of an old table in here and just everything's got to go. And I'd love to know if you guys are planning on doing any renos or home projects in the upcoming future. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys are up to. Obviously, I will keep you posted as to what we are up to. Here we are in my office slash getting ready room. To be honest, I think less work happens in here and more like working on myself happens in here. But either way, it's my special little room, my own little slice of heaven. I can do whatever I want in here. And just so you guys have some context, right behind this wall is that family room that we just came from. So there's that and then there's my office. So in here, it's a pretty simple space. And honestly, it's another one of those areas that I want to revamp a little bit because I look around and I'm like, yeah, this stuff is kind of you know, old schoolish, or maybe some things aren't really important anymore. So I'll just walk you through, but I'm sure over the coming months, perhaps year, you'll see some changes in here. So I've got this really big uh, full length mirror, which is very handy, although it's terrible for taking selfies in because there's a mirror directly behind it, which you'll see in a sec. So it just creates this fun house effect. It's not pretty. Anyway, I've got this shelf unit over here with some photos. I also keep my purses here. I've had a rule where I put my purses on shelves, not on the floor, and I treat them very well. So it's something I've adopted and I highly recommend. It's a very nice thing to do. Over here is kind of where I do my <laughs> work, if you will. It's where I get ready for doing our video shoots. I've got my hair tools over here. This is my jewelry box. By the way, I have these four prints on the wall of different shoes. I found them at uh, some little boutique art store that sold prints. I loved them and I just picked up some frames uh, from Ikea and that's what those are. And then over here, this is, um, this is really neat. This is a light. So it provides wonderful light for me when I'm doing my makeup. And then behind here, I'm sure you guys have seen this video. If you haven't, I do a video on how to clean your makeup and sort of reorganize all your makeup stuff. Anyway, this is where I keep mine. It's uh, it's mostly okay. It could use a little bit of a, an organization frenzy right now, but I, I don't really know if I have the, the time for that. I'll get to it shortly, I do promise. Um, and then over here, what we did when we moved in was we ripped out the sliding closet doors so that we could just have some extra storage space. But now I am reconsidering that because to be honest, I would actually love the extra cupboard space. So that might be changing in the next little while. And over here, this was the very first uh, sample cover that I received of my book. So we put it in a frame and you'll notice that the subtitle is different because it was initially supposed to be the modern guide to a healthy, happy home. And then we changed it, surprise. So this is kind of an interesting piece of history. Okay, just a couple steps down the hall. We are here in Chad's office where he does a lot more work in here than I do in mine. As you can see, he does all of his editing here. We've got a mic, he's got some good time speakers over there. His desk is very minimal and uh, he really likes to stay focused while he works, which is why I'm not really ever in here much. Now you'll see over here, he's got baking soda and essential oils. Chad particularly loves this little combo and he's always changing up the scents in here. I think it just helps him stay focused and motivated. Behind me, you'll see there's this painting and no, we didn't buy it at an art thing. Chad actually painted that himself. He's a pretty great painter and he does that on the side sort of to unwind. You know, when he doesn't want to stare at my face from editing all day, he paints another face and he can stare at that. So that's what happens in here. Um, aside from his computer gear and camera gear, he's got some storage stuff just over there. And over here, there's a chest of drawers where all kinds of different camera and production equipment are kept. Frankly, guys, I don't go in there, so I really don't know the exact contents, but I can assure you it's probably very nicely organized if I know my husband. Just a few steps away from Chad's office on the opposite side of the hallway is this bathroom, which to any other family would be the kid's bathroom, but to us, this is Chad's bathroom. And you guys recently saw Chad's bathroom get a bit of a makeover. If you haven't caught that video, I'll link it for you down below. Nothing really has changed. It's in pretty great shape and you can see all the gory details in that video. And this of course is our bedroom, our sanctuary. You guys are probably very familiar with this space because we film in here 
a lot. I, I would have to say the bedroom and the kitchen kind of rival for the most videos being filmed in that particular space. So you guys are super familiar with our room, but I'll give you a couple of little highlights. I'll also tell you that Chad and I have been doing a lot of thinking about what we want to change in here, aside from, of course, our beautiful headboard, which we love and I know you guys love. In fact, we get asked about that headboard so much, I'll just tell you right now. It's from West Elm. Uh, we bought it seven and a half years ago when we moved into this house. So hopefully they still have it available on the website. I want to say it's called Morocco or Marrakech. So just look that up if you are interested. Otherwise, the things in our room, um, we love antique furniture. So we picked up some antique stuff and we actually had the lady uh, custom paint it for us. Kind of an interesting black and white theme. And then she did the reverse for our night tables great way to upcycle and save some money, by the way. We kept the decor on our bed very monochromatic for so many years. And recently we decided to kind of spice things up a little bit with some color. So we got this very fun, kind of interesting bed set and we got some nice orange sheets to kind of pop, which is nice. And it sort of matches with the theme of the headboard. It's very interesting. I don't know if we're gonna keep it for much longer. To be honest, I'm getting a little bit sick of it. And in case you're interested, this over here is Chad's side of the bed. That is mine. And the funny thing is, I don't know if this happens to you guys, let me know in the comments below, but whenever we travel, we always maintain those same sides of the bed. Like the second we walk into a hotel, it's like, boom, that's mine. That's yours, so I don't know if you guys do that, but it's just a funny thing that we do. And then right over here, right over Chad's shoulder is where my bathroom is, and right over here is where our closet is. So we'll check out my bathroom next. And you wanted to see it, so here it is, my bathroom in all its glory. We've shot a lot in here, and I gotta tell you, it is so hard filming in a bathroom. The lighting is awful. I mean, not only is this lighting awful, but the actual lighting is terrible. It's a small space. It's certainly not the most fun place to film, but we've made it work. So a few things you might not have seen in the last bathroom video, because I've done a little bit of updating since then. I now keep all of my essential oils on this cabinet behind me. And for those of you guys who are new, this is something I picked up at an antique shop. It's an old picture frame and then somebody painted it and built out shelves behind it. It's a really neat thing. I've loved it for years. I've kept it in my bathroom and it's very handy. I've also been keeping up with keeping all of my personal products on a tray before I kind of had everything all over the counter. It looked very messy. This has really been a big thing. I also picked up this tray. It's just a mirrored tray. I picked it up at an antique store. Aside from that, I mean, you guys know my shower, you know my toilet intimately, probably too intimately. And that's about the most interesting stuff you'll see in my bathroom. And that's my bathroom and this is my book. And I know guys, I know I've been talking about it a lot lately. I know it's been subtle or maybe not so subtle, but the truth is I'm really excited about this book. It comes out on March 7th. I want you guys to have a copy because I know it can help you and help change the way that you clean on whatever kind of cleaning journey you're on. This book is there to support you. And that's why I keep talking about it. After March 7th, which is the day it comes out, I'm really not going to be doing a whole bunch of talking about the book anymore. So I just want you guys to know it will come to an end and I do thank you for your patience and for listening to me and hearing me out. You just have to understand, like this is my little baby. I'm really proud of it. So I'm gonna talk about it for the next little bit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for all of your lovely words and support about the book. I've got a link to it down below if you are interested in checking it out and seeing if it's right for you. This week's comment question, well, I already asked it, but I will say it again. Let us know in the comments down below if you are planning on doing any renos around your house. Always curious to know what you guys are up to. And also let us know in the comments if you're interested in coming along on the journey with Chad and I while we update and kind of reno our house. If you guys are interested and we get enough likes and comments, then we'll definitely create some videos about the reno stuff that we're doing around the house. I've got two videos for you to check out. The first one is our first home tour video. The second one, our first makeover video, Chad's bathroom. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.